So I was just on the phone with a candidate. Um, you know, what I do is I match people with franchise opportunities based on skills and personality and goals, kind of like the e-harmony of business. And so I'm working with this gentleman in the Chicagoland area, and he's looking at a 30-year-old franchise that has hundreds of franchise owners. And he's at the point where he's doing what they call validation calls, which is actually calling franchise owners in the field and finding out like how things are going with them and what their experience is with the franchise or um, which is really a unique thing if you think about investing where else can you actually talk to people that bought the investment I mean it's amazing uh, so anyway he's talking to this great franchise and he tells me this morning that you know most of the franchises he's talking to are in trouble they're not making money they um, don't like the franchise or and it's really interesting for me to kind of think about that. And right away, for me, it raised an interesting life lesson I learned way back, you know, 30 years ago. I used to drive a truck for these two Orthodox Jewish guys in Brooklyn. And there was a guy there by the name of Seymour Briskman who took me under his wing and kind of made me the mensch I am today. And I remember being with him and we were interviewing people for a, a warehouse job, you know, low skill labor. And I figured this would be pretty easy, but Briskman asked one pivotal question, which I really didn't understand at the time. And he had asked the candidate to tell, tell about your experience with your former employees. What kind of people were they, your, your former colleagues, I should say. And he said, oh, you know, the first guy said, the people I worked with, um, they were terrible people. They never helped. They always tried to push the work off onto other people. They really were terrible people to work with. And Briskman said, you know what? You'll probably find the same people here um, at, at this location. And so that was interesting to me. So the guy left. That afternoon, we interviewed a second person. And Briskman asked the same question. So tell me about the people that you currently work with. And the guy said, well, I'm sorry I had to leave my job. My wife got a transfer, but I loved those people. They would give you the shirt off their back. They would help no matter what the situation was. Even outside of work, they would always be there. They always had your back. And Briskman said, you'll find the same kind of people here. So that makes me think you know, what you bring into a situation is what you're going to find. Kind of whatever head trash you have, whatever glasses you're seeing the world through is kind of what you're going to end up having in your life. So what does that mean to you? Comment in the, um, com comment below this video and let me know what you think that question really means. Is it a great question? Do you think that you should ask that of your employees or of your other workers? Really what's going on in your head?